Hey guys, we are back finally for another recording episode, and this time we are doing Pokemon Emerald. Last time I kicked Roxanne's butt, and we learned that the Team Aqua grunts have struck again. And when we got up here at Route 116 near the entrance to Vestborough Tunnel, we have discovered that the they have taken off with Mr. Briny's Pico, and now we are off to get it back. Yeah, Plus the, the Devon Goods. Yeah, the Pico mean the Wingo. Uh, we yes. also apologize for. Uh, the lack of uh, Pokemon updates. We've both been kind of sick over the last, I think, week or so. Yeah, just allergies have been really bad. I had to leave early work on Thursday because post-nasal drip got into my stomach. It was just making it really weird, so yeah. Um, yeah, yeah and my nasal congestion was uh, skyrocket high as well. Thank um, you, allergies. All right, so Wizmer right there, that's just really not that bad of Pokemon. I personally like using it just because of the fact that it's not bad offensively. It's got pretty decent stats across the board. So personally, I just get like going stab, hyper voice, and then three special attacks because that's just how I am. Um, so I guess in this particular generation, you would probably would run a mix set. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, yeah. It goes from Wizmer to Loudred to Exploud. We got a little bit of a long grind for the uh, evolution line, uh, being level 20 for Wizmer to level. Yeah, you, you know, I can't talk. Yeah, okay, so yeah, uh, yeah, around, yeah, you have to level up Wizmer a little bit. I think it's up to level 20, like Danielle said, for you to get uh, Loudred, and I think it's somewhere in the 30s. Don't quote me on which one. 40s. It's 40s for uh, Explode. Yeah, because oh, okay. I, I raised it, so I would know that. Okay. All right. All right. So we, we have this Team Aqua Grunt who's like, hey, you want the Devon Goods back and this Wingle back? You have to get from me first. Yeah, we have to beat the same Poochian we fought t two areas ago. Only two levels higher. Huzzah. All right. So this thing really doesn't have anything drastic. This thing is not a problem really whatsoever. If you've been, if you got some really good experience from the Roxanne fight, this should not be a problem. Um, in addition, if you picked uh, Torchic early on and you you fall into Kabuskin by now, then this one should be a very easy fight. Yep. All right. So Nature Power right there. When you're in a cave, it turns into Shadow Ball. As we said, when we first learned Nature Power, it's got various effects depending on terrain. And spit off, spit off drop. Oh my god. <sighs> Uh, well, this is when back then Shadow Ball was physical. Which, again, makes no sense, but, okay, water on the bridge. I <laughs> always kicked me your butt right <laughs> well, here, so... Well, not water on the bridge just yet. We didn't make it to Gen 4 yet. Yeah, well, I said water under the bridge. Yeah, yeah, so not quite there yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, um and, and which, by the way, how are we going to approach Platinum? Um, it's up to you. I know quite a bit. I play Gen 4 quite a bit, so if the, unless you want to do... Platinum? Uh, or would well, you rather me do just some more familiar? Um, well, I know for me, I have yet to beat Gen 5. I, I would imagine if I would have LP Gen 5 for the first time, I'll probably be looking at a, um, not necessarily a guy, because I should have a general idea where to go, but it'd be my first time playing through a Gen 5. So I think that, um, I think I can handle, uh, White 1. Um, and, and then I think you can handle Platinum. Yeah. All right, so uh, Mr. Briny here comes in, gets uh, Pico back. So he says, hey, if you ever need a ride or need anything, come see me by my cottage. His cottage is just outside uh, Pellberg City on Route 104. So as your rival actually mentioned earlier, after you defeat them for the second time, they mentioned that. So yeah, so we're going to come back over here, just kind of do some item gathering. Yeah, um, if you do have cut, you don't have to go through this area, but if you do have cut, you, there, there are a couple of things you can actually gather here. Yeah. Um, a couple more trainers you can fight, um, a couple items, I think a couple berries too. Yes. Alright, so here I'm just kind of deciding, do I want to do doubles? How do I want to approach uh, check my levels? I, I think, I think that's what you have to do. This particular lineup, you have to do doubles. No, actually you can't. You don't have to do doubles. If you, oh, yeah, if, you, oh, if you approach from the from the trees just um, next to the girl, like and not directly in her line of sight, but uh, from the oh, side. Oh, you mean you cut down that other tree that you didn't cut down earlier? No, I'm saying cut through that tree and then instead of going up just to get in both their lines of sight, only go up once and then turn and just face the girl. Well, well, you, you have to cut down that tree that you didn't um, cut down then to do that. Um, Never mind. That, you, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll see when the battle is over. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, I've just looked at it as a zigzagoon. All right, so uh, um, pr uh, pr pretty much again, if you got a fight in the flying type, uh, I, I guess the only fight type at this point would be, I mean, unless you decided, unless you decided to go all the way to um, uh, what was the name of the cave again that's in Dufort City, Dufort Town? Well, you can't get to it yet. 
But no, but no, but I'm just saying, like, if you want to skip him for now and then catch a fighting type, come back here and fight him, you can do that. I don't remember offhand. It's actually annoying me now. I think it's just, I think it's just do for cave, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I forgot the name of it was myself, but I know it's the one where um, the first floor is lit up, but the, but the second floor beyond that is... Yeah, I believe it's... I think it is do for cave. So don't quote me on them. We'll see, when, we'll see when we get there, though. So, level ups. Sweet. So, what do you think about the uh, sword and shield information with Giga Tima? Giga. Uh, but, um, that one, yeah. Oh, you mean the um, the, 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 the Dynamax? Dynamax and Gigantamax. Gigantamax? Yeah. Um, uh, is Gigantamax the bit where. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, the term kind of slips my mind at the moment. What's the, what's the Giga Dynamax thing again? Um, I think it's where. I, I think that's kind of where they. Um, are, I think that's where they kind of try and make a trip as Mega Evolution. I um, think they do get buffed all their stats, though. Okay, so it's basically... Does it, does it need, like, some kind of, um... Uh, does it need, like a, like, a special item similar to, like, a Mega Stone? Possibly. I think they just announced it, though, I think, um... Recently? Hold on. Yeah, uh... <laughs> well, a a anyways, once you beat up this, um... Uh, what was it? The uh, the no yeah the rich boy and the rich Gigantamax is what it is. Gigantamax, thank you. Uh, yeah, we get uh, this is a, yeah these are actually good people you can um continue the versus seek on because you can just grab. Oh okay. Uh, no, cause I was thinking that you have to cut down that tree like you're doing just now, and I would have thought that um. No, no. <sighs> uh, no, man, I would have thought you had to uh, cut through that, but it looks like you can't. Okay. You know, cause what I was trying to tell you was like um, you see, see where it goes up against the grove of cheese. You don't. You can just approach it from the side. Don't you have to get into your actual line. Of sight. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So really, what Giga, Giga Gigantamax forms are is when um, it's pretty much only when Pokemon were caught in the max raid battles. The max. Okay, so they each come. They each come with special moves. All right. So would that be like um, what was the term that what was the term they used in Sun and Moon? Um. For, um it was something to do in the horror battle where they keep calling for help and SOS SOS chain yeah uh, is that is that is that like that and for sword and shield now that I don't know honestly I they haven't really said much about it because I really haven't been keeping up with Gen Eight all um, that much well I I mean um uh, well, I mean one of the media outlets um I, I forgot where they were did interview one the director of sword and shield he wanted to um. Uh, basically, basically replace the old one uh, with some new, the old mechanics, the old way to play the games with some new surprises. Right. Um, which I'm not 100 percent sure how I feel about that. I mean, I may, I mean, I may at least wait until they sh they show up in maybe one more direct, just to kind of um, um, show show off what they were talking about before before I grab the game instead of um. Same here. Cause I'm still not crazy about the. National deck scenario that we discussed, I think, in one of our crystal videos. Um, but yeah, just not really. So far, really, it's not making me that excited for it. So I, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, uh, when, you, when you think about it, uh, we're, we're going to be achieving one thousand Pokemon at this point. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that makes it right, but at at the same time, um, if you consider the Game Freak de uh, development cycle as a blade, they were already doing, um, they, they already got a massive success with Pokemon Go, or the mobile game. Um, and then, then I think it was around 2007, uh, 2018, uh, well, 2017, they were developing Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. They wanted to experiment with the, uh, Pokemon Go thing, where you actually, um, can choose what Pokemon you, you, you can encounter, except that, um, you have to throw the Pokeball yourself with your own Joy-Con controller or the Pokeball, um, the Pokeball Plus thing that they can pick up at, like, GameStop or stuff like that. Um... <laughs> Alright, <laughs> plot, we have interruption for plot, so uh, is, is this you, guy right here, he says, um, hey, he'll give you another great ball, and pretty much after this, he'll be pretty excited and say, like, hey, just come on with me, and he introduces you to the president of Devon Corporation. So, pretty much here is the president, he is going to be talking to you and saying, oh, I'm, I'm really glad you saved us, he'll give you, so he'll give you a key item and then asks you to make a couple of deliveries, which we'll get to in the text. Now, for this company being called the Devon Corporation, would the would the name of the name of the president be Devon Stone? I 
don't know. I would assume yes, but they never really said the name out loud. Yeah, yeah, they just call him President. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but uh, but uh, but let's not let's not mince words here. Um, uh, this is President Stone. Uh, a, pr a President Stone, as as you say, r runs the Devon Corporation. Um, um, according to Pokemon um, fan lore, I believe it's actually canon that um, he is he is the father of. Um, well, technically, this region's champion uh, is turned turn to Ruby and Sapphire, but not an Emerald. Yep. So, yeah. It is pretty much confirmed that he is... His, that he, I think it actually pretty much is cons confirmed that he is indeed the cha the champion's father. Well, not, 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 an em not an Emerald game, of course. But, yeah, but, him, but, 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 but nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. So he gives you the Pokénav. The Pokénav is actually really cool. So, pretty much what it is, is it lets you... To check your berry stock, you can be max trainers. It just has a lot of really cool nifty features. You're gonna be using that a lot in this game, and I'm gonna be spamming it like crazy. Rematching trainers is definitely essential for leveling up Pokemon as well as grinding for cash. Yes. Um, especially if those are really hardcore into um, the EV train, where you can face the exact same trainer um, pr pretty much over and over again until you um, count the amount of EVs you want to give that said Pokemon. And, that, and actually, it's interesting here. Um, one of the developers in the area, um, you said to go back for a second, I think you, um... So I was trying to figure out which guy it was, but, yeah, these guys, um... So this guy right there is really important, he'll pretty much say, like, oh, I want to resurrect Pokemon from fossils, you'll want to remember him for a little bit later. Um, it wasn't just that, but one of the NPCs, um, uh, just This one right here, right? Yeah. yeah. He well, visually what, what, reproduces the GM's dream. Pokemon, that's a... That's, that's supposedly a future hint to, um... To, 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 to a future Pokemon that didn't come until Gen 5. 5 yes. Th that'd be Muna. Yes. Um, Muna then later on becomes Marsh Lushana. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much like a hint right there. Hold on. Yeah, we, 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 I know. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Um, uh, but, but yeah, um, there was a subtle hint, uh, at that point in time where, um, uh, they were trying to develop a Pokemon that can, um, make people's, um, produce people's dreams. Um, that becomes, that becomes a bit of a subplot, subplot in Gen 5 where, uh, members of Team, uh, Plasma wanted to, uh, force the Bushan to get some dream mist. Yes. Um, and, and they wanted to force the people to dream, to dream about releasing their Pokemon. Yeah. This guy right here, he's gonna be giving, he's gonna be upgrading your... Uh, poking out with a uh, match, match, uh, match, uh, match, call. match call. Yeah. Feature that we just talked about. So he has pretty much already registered the president, and you are forced to call the president, saying, "Oh, it worked." It, it's 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 a tutorial thing. Yeah, tutorials. Yeah. Well, it, well, you gotta educate those first-time players. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, condition right there. That is um, that's something for uh, contests, which we'll be getting into much later in the game. So I won't. Don't worry about it right now. So. Are you are you be showing off the Pokemon contests? Most likely, yes, knowingly, because I thought I think they're cool. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, while, while we'll get more into the Pokemon contest later, they're, they're basically kind of, it's kind of like a beauty show where the, your Pokemon shows off the move and it, it depends on their um, certain stat. Not how like the attack and defense or anything, but like cool, beauty, tough, the things like that. Yeah. Yeah, but each move has its own specific, uh, own specific equivalent for contests. With, yep. with yeah, which we'll get into more detail at, at a later point. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the rival fight I was talking about earlier. So, um. Yeah, so you're gonna have a rival fight right here. This guy's got a couple of Pokemon, which is pretty, which again, really not that bad. The level shouldn't be that, but difficult for you. Uh, um, and, and, actually, and actually, in hindsight, uh, if you do pick uh, Mudkip, and since um, Brendan here would end up with a Trico, getting a flying type this early, you know, um, Taylor here, would be the best Pokemon to bring for the fight. But since that's not the case for her, this one's gonna be a, this one's gonna drag out a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right, so you. Uh, but first off, you need to register your rival in your Pokémon app. So he's, he says, "Oh, I spotted Mr. Briny on his way home by the on his way home to the cottage," and they he starts talking to you about, "Hey, um, wait, which Pokédex like mine's better?" And like, "Oh, do you want to have a fight?" Sure. Um, can you say no to him and skip it entirely? Um, I don't know. I've never actually tried that. I'm going to say you can't, because that's usually how the rival fights work. Yeah, I mean, I, I would, I would imagine that'd be true. It'd be like, oh, come on, come on, pretty please. Yeah, I'm. I don't think you can skip that fight though. I'm like ninety percent sure on that one. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure if anything, uh, it'll, if you keep saying no, he'll keep begging you until you finally say yes. I would have, yeah, I would that, that's my, that's my, that's my, uh, uh, I, 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 thought I, as well. I, 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 would, I would imagine that'd be true. Um, uh, so, so anyways, uh, no, normally, um, um, Lombre would be at a bit of a disadvantage because of being part grass and Wingo being, uh, part flying, but th thankfully, though, it's not like a case of, uh, Lombre versus, uh, Pelipper. Yeah. So... And, and plus, uh, Wingo doesn't have, have great physical attacks, so she, so the um, Lombre can tank those um, wind attacks just fine. And, and only that, but at least absorb because of Wingo being part water is actually doing some okay damage. Yeah. All right. Let me double check. Just trying to figure out what rival fights here. All right. Uh, the trico, uh, the trico here. Um, oh, it is optional. Okay, I didn't think it was optional, but apparently it is. Uh, oh, it was optional. Yeah. How about that? Oh, and uh, this thing, and that thing actually never used quick attack. No, actually used wing attack on my Wombre once. No, no, it, no, it did. It did. I was probably just too busy trying to look up the info. No, 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 no. I was going to say it did, but you fought back with, um, absorb. And the Trico here would have absorb at this point. It does. Yeah, so, uh, so, uh, don't send your water sword out there, uh, unless you're feeling really gutsy with Bide. Yeah. But still, it's not that bad. I really didn't have much to hit the Trico with in general, so I just... Spammed uh, Astonish and Swift, aka Nature Power. Yeah. Hoping to have flinched, so unfortunately that never actually happened. So, um, yeah. So coming up, we're gonna be kind of, um, yeah, just going back to Mr. Briny and uh, seeing exactly what it is that he's got to offer. Um, yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll offer us the, um, a, a ride to Dufer Town, which is the second, uh, second town we need to pick up a badge here. Yeah, he's pretty much your means of transporting across the water until you get surf a little bit later in the game. You uh, get it or, after you defeat your father, I believe, in Pelleberg Gem. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, because I was going to say, cause I know you don't get fly to you, I know you can't get fly to you, um, beat Winona. Yes. Alright, so my last nature power here for actually takes him out. Goodbye. Huzzah. Yep. All right, all right, so that's the end of this Rabble Battle here. Uh, the next time we do meet up for Emerald, we are going to try to be a little bit more consistent as best we can. We are recovering from being sick, but the next time we do meet, we'll be heading our way to Dufer Town. All right, see you guys.